Hey guys, it's Joe Troyer from Digital Triggers, and today I want to talk to you guys about setting up Cloudflare for your PBN. So before we dive in and actually show you how to do it step by step, I want to talk about why Cloudflare. So one of the biggest things that you have to understand is that there is a real shortage of quality, cheap hosting providers for PBNs, and we specifically use cPanel only hosts. Why? Because we don't want to train our team how to use 10 different control panels uh, when cPanel is really pretty standard across the industry. And so we can only teach them that one and, you know, get them up to speed a lot faster. We want to be able to, as well to be able to put more sites on a single host without anyone knowing, including Google, that they're on the same host, right? And with Cloudflare, we can do that. So, just a couple rules of thumb here, no more than 25% of our network goes on Cloudflare and another 10% or so of our sites go on Encapsula, all right? So Encapsula is a smaller Cloudflare alternative and we'll talk about that in another upcoming video. So why Cloudflare? So we talked about that it is hard for people, it's very, very difficult for people to understand that um, your site is hosted uh, anywhere, right? The, all that they see is the Cloudflare data. And that's because of a reverse proxy feature. So it completely masks your hosting IP address and instead shows a Cloudflare IP address. And this IP actually ends up changing as well. So uh, let's jump right into it. I'm going to walk you guys step by step how to do this. And then we'll come back and I'm going to answer a couple of FAQs that I think are important, some questions that I'm sure you guys are going to be asking um, so let's jump right into it all right so we're gonna go to Google and we're going to do a search for Cloudflare I'm just gonna go to their site I'm going to actually let's go to plans here and I'm just going to go and set up for a free account here and you can watch me go through this process here real quick so I'm just gonna use a email cloudflare at web one syndication.com let me confirm that here Right, and then we're going to put in our password and then agree to the terms of service. Obviously, confirm the password. Click create account. And I'm going to go ahead and save this with LastPass here so I have it in the future. So next, what we need to do is put in our website URL. So I'm going to go grab this example domain that we're using here for this setup. And uh, I'm just going to get rid of HTTP and the trailing slash just to make sure that we don't have any problems here. Okay, great. So they're scanning our DNS records basically and pulling back all this information that we need. Um, you guys don't need to watch this video when you're setting it up as long as you go through this tutorial. It's very, very simple to understand and actually set up. So um, Cloudflare takes uh, quite a bit of time. As you can see, we're at 34 more seconds left until uh, it's done scanning the DNS record. So it takes a little bit of time here. Uh, I'll be back as soon as we're finished here. All right, so the scan is complete. As soon as it lets me, we're going to hit this continue button. I'm not sure why it's taking a second here. So the scan is complete. It's grabbing all the information. All right, continue. And you can see here's all the stuff that they brought back for my host, all the stuff that we would traditionally be setting up. However, there's a couple things here that I want to get rid of. The only things that matter here are the zeldaagency.net records, if you look at that under name, right? And then the www record here under C name. So I'm going to go ahead and just start deleting some of these here. So this one's gone. Emails gone. MX records. We don't need any mail to be handled. Yep. Yep. All right, so all that we have left is our A records and our C name. So we're good to go there. So you'll see that um, they already have in our IP addresses here. Uh, so we're going to go up. We're going to choose the free account here. And uh, here are the name servers, right? So we're all ready to go. We need to jump over into GoDaddy and, uh, and copy and paste these name servers into our domain Zelda legacy.net so let me get logged in here one second all 
Alright, so I'm inside my account. I'm going to go under domains. I'm going to do a quick search here for Zelda. And uh, it's taking a second here to load. Let me hit the search. Okay, great. So I'm going to click manage here. And if you're not using GoDaddy, this process is going to be very similar. You just need to go and update your name server. So here, my name server is listed here. I'm going to click manage. And I'm going to head and click custom. I'm going to click add name servers. And I'm just going to copy and paste over here. So paste that one, the second one now, go ahead and paste that, click OK, and we're going to click Save, and we are done. All right, so let's jump into some Cloudflare frequently asked questions. Obviously, they're not so frequently asked, but when I've talked to people about what we're doing with Cloudflare, a couple questions come up that I wanted to make sure that we address. So with Cloudflare, one of the questions that we always get is, do I need to create a new account for every PBN domain? Meaning, do I need a new Cloudflare account? for every single domain that I want to use with Cloudflare? And the answer is a yes, 100%. So every account that you get with Cloudflare provides you with unique DNS records for each site. All right, so be sure that every domain that you want to add to Cloudflare gets its own account, right? Because we don't want the same DNS record spread out on a bunch of our network, right? That's why we use Cloudflare is so that it can you make us ambiguous right it can uh, we can be unique we can blend in with all these other sites using Cloudflare and there is a ton of them out there so make sure that every site that you want to host you set up a brand new Cloudflare account and obviously it is a hundred percent free so next question should I use this for all my sites and I would definitely recommend not so uh, especially in a PBN type of circumstance so I personally use Cloudflare for no more than 25 percent of my sites I use Encapsula for another 10 percent um, and then lastly I spread out the rest or so right the 65 percent left uh, on cPanel hosting from the top hosting providers out there that provide cPanel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Have an awesome day.